Hello and welcome once again to the show that fuels your appetite for adrenaline and alternative sports. Coming up this week, we're in Santiago, Chile for round two of the UCI BMX World Cup. Then we take you to Orsier in the Southern French Alps for the second stage of the FIS Freestyle Ski Cross Europa Cup. 15 countries in attendance in this knockout style competition. All that to come, but first we take you to Germany for highlights of the most recent edition of the Steel Timber Sports World Championships. And this week we look at the singles event. Stuttgart, metropolis in southern Germany. Here is the birthplace of Stiel and where the ninth Steel Timber Sports World Championships will take place. In the sold out Porsche Arena, around 5,000 fans have gathered to witness this mega event that promises to be a very spectacular evening. First, let's take a look at the rules. This year, for the first time, there will be three rounds. In the first round, the top 14 athletes go head-to-head -head for three disciplines, starting with the underhand chop. The competitors stand on a block of wood and cut through from both sides with an axe. Then, stalks off. Two slices of wood must be cut off within the marked lines. Then it's on to standing block chop, where a vertically fixed block of wood must be cut through from both sides with an axe. The best 10 will then go through to round two, where there are two disciplines, single buck and springboard. Four will be eliminated. The single buck. Using a one-man buck saw, the athlete must cleanly cut a slice of wood from the block. The springboard. With the help of two springboards, the athletes climb up the trunk and cut through the block from both sides with an axe. The best six will go through to the main final, where it's a race against the clock with the hot saw. Hot saw. A customized chainsaw is used to cut three cookies within the marked area from a block of wood. The top 14 timber sportsmen from all over the world have come to Stuttgart to find out who is the best of the best. The fans in Stuttgart are ready for some action and we get things going with the underhand chop, the fourth heat where the local hero, Robert Ebner, will meet Matt Kogar. Three, two, one, go. Matt Kogar is the reigning US champion, so favorite here, but Robert Ebner is very strong in this discipline and Ebner is first to turn, but Kogar is right there with him. This is a tight race with Kogar just ahead. Oh my goodness, it's close, but it's going to be Matt Kogar winning this one. All right, gentlemen, both cuts are good. The replay shows how close this contest was. Robert Ebner, very strong and good technique in the underhand chop. The runner-up in this discipline back in 2010 definitely belongs to the favorites here on home turf. In the next heat, it's Czech Martin Komarek against Spike Milton from Great Britain. Both athletes have been doing this for over 10 years now. Time is ready. Contestants ready. Three, two, one, go. Komarek on the left-hand side of the stage, Spike Milton on the right-hand side of the stage, both looking strong, but Komarek takes a big lead over Milton. Wow, he has just turned around way earlier than Milton did. And it looks like Komarek is going to get through in a good time. Milton way behind. Komarek threw in 19.88. And Spike finally gets through in 27.45. With speed and precision, Komarek takes the victory over Milton. The last heat in the underhand chop, defending world champion Jason Winyard meets the strong right, Australian Brad DeLosa. Time is ready. Contestants ready. Three, two, one, go! Jason Winyard, five-time world champion on the left-hand side of your screen in black. DeLosa in yellow and green, hungry to take his first world title. It is a dead heat between these two gentlemen. Jason Winyard, very strong on the underhand chop. 
Brad Delosa going at it hard. Who's it going to be? Winyard or Delosa? It's Delosa getting through. Wow, best time for Delosa, 16.53 seconds. What a time for Brad Delosa. That catapults the Australian into first place. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was a good cut, you know, very happy to come out on top, so it's a world-class field, and to uh, win the underhand, yeah, I'm very happy to get out, on, get out on a good start. So after the first discipline, Brad Delosa takes the lead, Jason Winyard sitting in second, the American, Matt Kogar is in third, and Robert Abner, good position in fourth. Next up is the Stock Saw. We join the second heat where the Canadian Mitch Hewitt will meet Matt Kogar. 15 seconds to warm up your saws. This is a very important aspect for these guys, blowing out the saws to make sure that they start exactly when they want them to. Something new as well, first time ever, we get to see the RPMs of the saws indicated at the top of the screen for the most efficient cuts. And this day, Kogar has it with a time of 11.95 seconds, the quickest through the log in the stock saw. Good performance from Hewitt, but Kogar was better and looks in good shape for this contest. All right, it's getting loud in the arena again as Germany's Robert Ebner steps out to challenge Daniel Vicente from Spain. Judge Tower ready. Hands on the wood. Get set. Good start for both these guys. Ebner looking very strong in this one. He starts on the upward stroke already. Ebner's through in 12.07. Wow, fast time for Ebner. 12.88 for Vicente. So Ebner wins this one with a bullet. Ebner showing consistency in the second discipline. Vicente with a time of 12.88 in the bottom third of the field. The replay, it's nice to see how precisely Ebner is making his cuts. In the next heat, check Martin Komarek meets the Aussie Brad Delosa. The engineer that lives near Sydney has already taken part in 26 contests on his way to this world championship. Hands on the wood. Get set. Saws are running. Delosa in there first. Komarek right there with him, though, catching up quickly. Looks like it's a pretty even race heading towards the upward cut, and it's Delosa. Wow, through in a best time of 11.51. In the replay, we can see the mistake by Komarek. He has to grab it again. That cost him the heat against Delosa, who also set the best time in stock saw. The results for stock saw. Brad Delosa in first, followed by Matt Kogar in second, and Martin Komarek in third. In the overall standings, it looks like this at the moment. Only the top 10 will go through to the next round, but we still have one more discipline in this round to go. So it's still open as we head into the standing block chop. We join the third heat with Daniel Vicente meeting Christian Kasmare. Three, two, one. The standing block chop is all about strength and precision, but also speed has to mix in there as well. The top guys in this discipline do it in less than 20 seconds. We can already see here on the second side that these two gentlemen have topped over the 23 second mark. Vicente gets through in 24, 26, and Kashmare coming along in 26, 69. Whenever it gets really loud in here in the Porsche arena, you know it's because Robert Ebner has stepped onto the stage in his home ground. This time he's up against the Czech, Martin Komarek. Three, two, one, go. Good start for both of these guys, and this is a super strong discipline for Robert Ebner. It's actually Robert's favorite discipline with one more stroke here. It's going to do it, and Ebner wins this one in 2046 with Komarek taking 2169 to get through that log. Look at these blows by Ebner, though. Fantastic precision, immense power, and good speed gets him through this one. 
So, yeah, so I'm really very pleased with the underhand. Stock saw was so-so. I'm just hoping to finish the first round in third or fourth place. I don't know, but it would be good. Then come my strongest disciplines. Sounds like the German still has his sights set on a win. In the sixth heat, it's Brad DeLosa against Mitch Hewitt. Both of these guys are world-class athletes with an axe. Three, two, one, go! Standing block is Brad DeLosa's favorite discipline. He is on the left-hand side of the screen in the green and yellow. Both athletes technically very good. They change almost at the same time to the other side. Mitch Hewitt working hard. He's almost through. Who's it going to be? Oh, Brad DeLosa. Another best time of 18 seconds. Fantastic finish. What a show from Brad DeLosa. Here's the final blow from DeLosa in slow-mo. Three best times for the Australian in three events. Amazing. So the last heat in the first round, a real clash of the Titans. U.S. champion Matt Kogar meeting world champion Jason Winyard. Three, two, one, go. Winyard on the right-hand side of your screen is so strong in standing block, and you can see his power and precision as he is already working on the other side of the block, and he has got it down in 1915. And look at that, Matt Kogar gets it down in 1967, two fast times, and here are the last two hits from Winyard. Then he looks over to his opponent. It was a close contest between these two men. What does Jason have to say about the first round? Not the way I wanted to start, but... Uh... No, definitely uh, a different competition with um, starting out with the wood chopping disciplines first. Uh, but uh, hey, I'm still in touch, so uh, just got to keep head down and, and keep working at it. The results of the third discipline, the standing block chop, Brad DeLosa takes the first again. Second for Jason Winyard and Matt Kogar coming in third. So the top 10 make the cutoff and go through to the next round. Robert Ebner still holding third place overall. Places 11 through 14. Unfortunately, he will not be vying for a world championship title in 2013. It's going to get tough from now on as the world's best get ready for the next round. Uh, the next rounds will be definitely interesting. Uh, they're knocking it off from uh, these two, last two events. are knocking it all down to six uh, gentlemen for the world title. So it's, uh, it's going to be tough. The top 10 timber sportsmen will battle on for the title right after this break. Don't go away.